welcome back to this new tutorial. My name is Bruno Flamen. I'm, um, I have published a post about Python, Anaconda, and JSON and JSON schema and some other stuff. Uh, but I want to focus on the very basic use of Anaconda. Uh, and we're going to use this library, um, which is a JSON schema for Python. Uh, so i be able to check the validation and to check the, um, the quality of the JSON that I produce. Uh, what is interesting, first of all, all the elements are available on my GitHub account. As you can see, this is where you have all the, um, all the code for any of my... And you have this one, where you have all the JSON schema. Okay, uh, what you need, first of all, to install, uh, to install Anaconda on the Anaconda website be sure to have n space for instance i was forced to use um, an external disk uh, to have uh, enough space disk space to install because it's very uh, it's very important it's very large okay and we're going to go through basic command but not through the anaconda navigator but mostly through the console okay so let's start for instance the anaconda uh, navigator and you will see and at the same time what i'm doing is that i'm going to create a json schema i'm going to use some json schema and basically it's easy to create if you're new to json schema the things that you need to do is to to go from your json and to create a json schema and this website enables you to do so which is very uh, interesting and because it's a very tedious uh, activity to create and quite con time consuming to create a json schema and second, we're going to leverage on these JSON, Python, Python, sorry, JSON schema. Okay, so let's go. I think we can check, for instance, we have the different environment that exists on my desktop. And we're going to create new desktop, but we're not going to use the Anaconda Navigator. We're going to use directly the console. So, for instance, I need to be sure that I'm in the correct. And you can see I'm down here where I have all these signs. Okay, so let's go back and say I'm looking for this. So I go into this and I can see all my file. Okay, so I'm gonna sure I'm gonna ensure that Conda is collected install. So you can see I have the last version. You can even more have more information. It's type Conda info, where you can see that my Conda is installed on this remote disk. So if I remove it, then it won't work anymore. I can even update it if I need. I don't think there's any reason that I need to update, but I just pat the comment. Okay, it takes a while. Okay, he's currently checking the installation and i don't think i have the last version so i should not have i have nothing to install okay so um right now we're gonna check the environment and you can see two things you can see all the environment that i already installed and i can see it also from the anaconda uh, navigator and also I have the default one called base, okay? Which is the one I can see here, you see, base. And then I have all these other environment. Like you can see this one, you can see this one. So we're gonna first create a new environment, name it. This is the way you create environment, okay? Okay, there, I don't specify any version of Python it's okay and i will say yes i will proceed okay so normally if i for instance if i remove if i'm going out from the anaconda navigator and i and i load it again i should see this new uh json you see, I see the environment list with the new one, this one. And I should see also, when it would be launched, the Anaconda Navigator, I should see also my new environment. So I'm gonna work on this new environment. I can install both through the Navigator. As you can see, nothing has been installed except a few things. 
and down here but I could also can proceed here with uh, with the console so I'm gonna do it by the console I'm gonna activate it so I will quit the base and I'm still here I'm still in there and this is a proper so if I want to remove I can remove it with this command and if I want a specific version I can say Python equal 3.5 etc etc so let's see do I have anything installed I think it can leverage on the so I will see if this yeah it's already installed because I have it installed in my you see 3.20 okay I go out okay and we're still in the but I'm leveraging on this environment so for instance I can also install some other uh, libraries or NumPy or OpenCV uh, whatever I can even create a script for instance, I'm gonna create a script. Create a file, a Python file. So this is Python, sorry. And I will create this file. Okay, let's create it. There we go. I can see that it has been created and I can edit it through Sublime Text. I see it here. So if I'm, I've already prepared some code, so I'm going to put it here. This one. There we go. So here it's a command. I can do command with the hashtag or I can use this for a more bigger command. Bigger command. Whoops bigger command okay and I can run this Python by doing so you see and for instance I can say hello anaconda here we go you see so now we're ready to roll with the new uh, JSON schema. So let's see what we can do with the JSON schema. So I'm gonna go there. And for instance, let's take, I want to test. So I'm gonna test this JSON schema person, okay? So I have a person, my name is Bruno Flamen, and this schema person is gonna ensure that I can cannot put anything else than these three, these three names, okay. So and the th and also this last name, okay. So for instance, we're gonna say John Doe or Johnny Doe, let's say. And I'm gonna launch this one to check if he's compliant with my JSON schema. Apparently he is. So for instance, which is very easy. If I change a few things, I say John, and I redo, it won't work because John is part, not part of the enum, which is this one. So you cannot find one of these values as a first name, so it won't be able. But if I put team, it would work again, okay? Because team is part of the values that are that can be used, okay? We can even think about, and my concern was really to handle um, questions in FAQ. So for instance, as you can see, it's more, it's a more uh, complex JSON uh, data, um, mo data model. And there I can ensure that title is, uh, everything is required for one items, ID, title, content, keywords, and is visible. You see, ID, title, content, keywords and is visible and for each of these element and uh, each of these element of the object I ensure that it's an array or it's a string or it's a boolean. For instance if I say um, let's say if I say title is an integer it's gonna fail. Let's see I go there. Oops. And it's work. It's not working because title. It's not supposed to be an integer. It's supposed to be a title. 
So if I come back with a string and then it comes again. Okay? So, um, but I think it's enough. I think we've done everything that we need. It was the very beginning of, um, of using Python and especially leveraging on Anaconda. So for instance, I can, uh, I can remove even this one. For instance, I'm gonna remove it. So I need to go out from this environment, which is this one, my own pizza, and then I deactivate. I'm coming back to the base. I'm listing my environment. You see, and I will remove with another. So this one, I'm gonna remove this one. So the command to remove is this one. Okay, I can, if I had a, a force for that, I should be, I should do like that. But this one is called, this one is called three and I will remove it. So it will remove everything. And uh, still, it's still available here. But if I quit and if I restart, I think there's something better. There's maybe um, another way to refresh through the Anaconda Navigator, but I don't know it. But anyway, if you're still working on, it will load the thing and you won't get any more in the, in the environment list, you won't get any more this uh, my own Python env video three. You see, he has disappeared. He has disappeared. And he has also disappeared down here. Okay? So what is interesting with Conda is that as you as you can see, there's a lot of library, there's a lot of things that you can use. Okay? And you can make specific environment for your specific needs. And um, I'm currently working on uh, facial recognition or if you're using ltlk or whatever it's very easy because it's much more difficult when you try to use uh, and install uh, anaconda and all this library um, for instance if i come back to what i have and i will show you maybe next tutorial some of the other things the way you can uh, bypass all these uh, pip installation and whatever. But still, I mean, this is a proper way, this is very intuitive to install your environment and to work on it, okay? So thanks for watching, and you can find all the information and more information on my blog, and also on my GitHub account, where you can find all the, all the stuff that I'm working with, okay, during this demo. See you, bye-bye, and thanks for watching. Thank you.